Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another game in my Kansas City Royals uh, playthrough. We are currently in the year 2026. This is July 2nd. We're taking on the Houston Astros, who just happen to be worse than us. Um... And uh, if we look at the standings, which we will do right now, you can see that we are 33 and 47. We're at the bottom of the AL Central division, but we have a 413 win percentage, which is better than the win percentage we've had the past two seasons. So we are doing a little better than we've done before record-wise. And you can see that the Houston Astros are 31 and 48 and at the bottom of the AL West. And uh, if you look at the, uh, the matchup today, we're going to send up Brady Singer, who's 6 and 5 on the year with a 434 earned run average. And he's going up against J.P. Sears for them, who in real life is on the A's currently. But in this out of the park season playthrough, he is currently on the Astros, obviously, and he's 1 in 10 with a 631 earned run average. So I like our chances. So we are going to play the game against the Astros. And, uh, oh, I guess I have to make a change here. We got to add somebody to our lineup. What are we missing here? Right, second, third, left, uh, center. It looks like we're missing a center fielder. So I guess I will, is that what we're missing? No, we're not missing a center fielder. Grisham's out there. We're missing a, what are we missing? A shortstop? Maybe a shortstop. All right, so we're missing a shortstop. I got to get somebody else out there to play short. Um, I suppose we will take Michael Massey and put him in. And he will be today's shortstop. And he will bat third. And, uh, you know, on the year he is hitting 180, so hopefully he can turn that around. But anyway, um, let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go to the game. I fixed the lineup. So uh, we are going up against J.P. Sears, and the first batter is is Esturi Ruiz for us. And we are in Houston. Minute Maid Park. Taking a little tour of Minute Maid before the first batter faces Sears. Hopefully he pans out to be as bad as, he, uh, as his uh, statistics show him to be. Jose Tania, the second baseman, is batting next. Got a lot of guys getting tired, though. That's going to be a problem. So he he uh, laces a base hit to center, so he's aboard. And that should bring up Massey. And it does. His 180 batting average. Got to get that up. Got to do better than that. He strikes out, so not good. And that brings up Bobby Witt Jr., the cleanup hitter. And Bobby Witt Jr. is going to lace one to right field, and that will put runners at the corners. So let's see if we can knock this guy in with Soto. And Soto walks. So we got the bases loaded here with two down. And Caden Wallace is the batter. Caden Wallace strikes out. Sears got out of that inning by the skin of his ass. So we've got Brady Singer going up. Brady Singer, like I said on the year, he's 6-5, 434 uh, earned run average. And he will face first Alex Bregman. For some reason, he's leading off. But, uh, you know, whatever. That's not for me to say. That's going to be a ground ball to third, and he is out. Which brings up Junior Severino, their second baseman. Never heard of that guy, and uh, he's going to ground out to third. So we're busy over at third today. 
and uh, Jordan Alvarez, the first baseman, dangerous hitter, hitting 314 on the year. Hopefully he doesn't uh, go yard, and he struck out, so nice inning for Singer. He goes 1-2-3, and we're back out there facing Sears with Trent Grisham, the center fielder. And he's going to walk. Nice. We got Trent Grisham aboard. Pasquatino is the batter. And he's going to hit the ball to second, and he moved the runner over. They didn't, uh, I guess they decided they uh, couldn't get Grisham at second. A little too fast. Henry Davis, the catcher, is the batter, and it is going to be an out. I thought maybe that could be a get down for a base hit, but no. Runner at second, two down, and Asturi Ruiz, the batter. And Asturi Ruiz is going to pop out, and that's going to be that. And so uh, Sears is not as advertised. He's actually pitching better than he uh, showed. His statistics would show that he, he might. Kyle Tucker is the batter. He's another dangerous hitter. And he walks. I'm, I'm okay with him walking, Tucker. I mean, come on. That guy is a dangerous hitter. Uh, Justin Durden. Never heard of Justin Durden, but he's hitting 252 on the air, and he strikes out. So, yeah, we've got the heater going here for Brady Singer. He is smoking, guys. That's going to be a ground ball, hopefully into a no, not into a double play. So... There's two down, man at first, and Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. They have Anthony Rizzo in this uh, this version of the alternate world of out-of-the-park baseball. And he flies out to right field, and we are back at bat with Jose Tania, who got a base hit last time up. Let's see if he can do it again. Probably not, no. He grounds out to the first baseman. And Michael Massey is up. Come on, Massey. And he's going to be thrown out. He's done pretty well for us in past years. I'm surprised he's struggling as much as he is. Bobby Witt Jr., the batter. And he is going to ground out to third. So we got a, we're deadlocked here. 0-0 zero, zero as we go to the bottom of the third inning. But Brady Singer is pitching well for us. And that is going to be a fly to... S no! It got down for a single. I thought that was going to be an out. Come on. All right. So, Jeremy Pena, the, the shortstop, is up. He is going to pop out. Pop out to third. Foul ball. Foul out. And uh, Alex Bregman, back to the top of the order with Bregman. The Bregatola, he grounds out to third again. And this time it's into a double play. So, um, yeah, Brady Singer being real efficient, striking people out, pitching like a champ. Here goes Juan Soto. We can't break through on Sears, though, and that's kind of concerning. That, however, is going to be a, at least a double, probably a double. So Soto gets a uh, double to lead off the fourth for us, which brings up Caden Wallace. Caden Wallace, he's a decent hitter, but he's going to ground out there, and uh, Soto can't advance, so he's still at second. Grisham is the batter. Grisham is going to win. Oh, he's going to get on by an error. Nice. We got runners at the corners, one down. Oh, come on. Grisham was injured. Dang. Really don't need that. Um, all right, we're going to have to put Mo Hampton Jr. in. And return to the game. So, Pasquatino is the batter. And Pasquatino is going to get a base hit, knock in a run. So we've got a one nothing lead. And we're going to have runners at second and third. Still with only one out. And with the way, uh... Um, uh, our man is pitching. I don't know how much more we're going to need here. Henry Davis gets hit by the pitch. So the bases are loaded. Which brings up Asturi Ruiz. And Asturi is going to ground into a double play, which we did not need. 
So we got a one nothing lead. Um, I got to make that defensive change. Hampton uh, Ham Hampson is going to go to center. And we will return to the game. Brady Singer. We got Now he's got to really pitch like the way he's been pitching because we only got one run there and we had a chance to really break it out in the fourth and failed to do so. So Jordan Alvarez is up, hoping again that he doesn't go yard, and he doesn't. So he's going to ground out to Pasquatino. So there's two down, and that brings up Kyle Tucker. And again, another dangerous hitter in their lineup. But he's going to fly out to right. So again, Singer is just, he's being efficient. He's mowing people down. He might even get through the game, the entire game, and I could use that. Jose Tania. The second baseman batting, and he is going to hit it up the middle for a base hit. That brings up Massey, and I am going to, I'm going to try to uh, hit and run with Massey. I'm going to try to hit and run with Massey again. And that is not going to work. He flies out to right. Bobby Witt Jr., one down, man at first. And he strikes out. So here we go with Juan Soto, who doubled last time up. And Juan Soto is just going to fly to center. So we're still, uh, we're still having trouble scoring. But Singer is not having trouble mowing the Astros down. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and Justin Durden is the batter. And he's going to strike out, man. Singer is just on top of his game here today. Chaz McCormick, the center fielder. He's going to walk. That's not good. Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo gets a base hit, and it's going to be runners at the at the corners. Not good. Looks like Houston is probably going to tie this game up. I'm not bringing the infield in. So Francisco Mejia is the batter. But Francisco Mejia just hits a three-run jack. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. So Singer, who was cruising now, all of a sudden is losing 3-1. to one. And Jeremy Pena, the batter. And he'll ground out to third. Which brings up Alex Bregman. And he's going to ground out to third, too. But we gave up three runs. Singer gave up three runs there. We're losing three to one. I knew that that inning where we had the bases loaded and only one out, that was huge. Bubich is now on to pitch, though. Um, let's see what Caden Wallace can do against Chris Bubich. Now, Bubich in real life used to be, and maybe even still is, in the Kansas City organization and was on the Kansas City Royals. Mo Hampton Jr., and he's going to strike out. Bubich is mowing people down. He's coming in with a uh, an ERA under four, so not too surprising. And there's a strikeout, so we could be in trouble because we got Sears out of the game. Um, but before we did enough damage, we're in the bottom of the sixth, and Severino was that the guy that's up, and he's going to have a base hit right through second, right past second base. Tane, you couldn't play it. And uh, Jordan Alvarez is up. The first baseman for them, he strikes out. Kyle Tucker is the batter. Kyle Tucker strikes out. Man, they're two most dangerous hitters. Singer making them look like fools. And Justin Durden. But Justin Durden laces one down the right field line that's probably going to knock in a run. Or maybe, maybe not. No, it does. So it's four to one. 
And Chaz McCormick is the batter. And he's going to hit one to center, and that's going to be another run for the Astros. I can't believe this. Or did we get him? We got him! Nice! He tried to, he went, he just stretch, tried to stretch it, and he couldn't do it. But we're still losing 4-1. to one. And Bubich is out there, and we're uh, going to, uh, Henry Davis is the batter. He's out, and Esturi Ruiz is up. Esturi Ruiz is going to hit a home run. Nice. Well, that's it's 4-2. Or no, it's a double. Why is that a double? I could have sworn I saw that go into the stands. All right, well, he's at second. That's not as good. Jose Tania, the batter. But he gets a base hit. Maybe that'll be a run. Maybe not. No, probably not. Figures not for us. For him, yeah, he gets a run. All right, Massey's up. Come on, Massey. We need you to come through here. And they got a new pitcher on. That's going to be a slow roller, and it's going to be a slow roller into a double play. Come on. All right. Um, Anthony Rizzo, the DH. And he strikes out. Francisco Mejia, the catcher, is up. And he is going to get a base hit to left field. Now, I know Brady Singer is basically out there on fumes, but I'm going to try to get him through the seventh. And that's going to be uh, an infield hit because of the poor fielding that we have going on here. Alex Bregman is the batter, and he walks, so the bases are loaded. Probably not going to get out of this unscathed. But there's a strikeout, so there's two down. Two down, we can get out of this. Jordan Alvarez up. And looks like we might, and we did. So it paid off. The gamble paid off. It's still only 4-1, and we got seven innings out of, uh, out of Brady uh, Singer. But I'm going to warm up Pook, A.J. Puke. That's what I feel like doing based on our performance today. Bobby Witt Jr., the batter. That's a base hit, so we got a man on, but we've got to string base hits together, and it's something that we really are not very good at. We don't have hitters that are that good. Juan Soto. Juan Soto, though, he does get a base hit, and, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Witt's going to take that extra base, so we're going to have runners at the corners. Runners at the corners, no outs, Caden Wallace. But he strikes out. God, Caden Wallace. Mo Hampton Jr. Mo Hampton Jr. And he's going to be out. Did we score the run? We probably do. We do. So that's our second run of the game. It's 4-2. to two. And uh, Pasquatino, the batter. And Pasquatino, can he get that past the outfielder? No. He makes the play in center, and so we're still down by two, and I am going to make the pitching change. We're going to bring in Puke. Uh, Puke on the year, he hasn't pitched very much, only eight and a third innings, but he has a 324 earned run average. So hopefully he can keep us right where we are. And maybe not, as they start off with a base hit to left field. Justin Durden, the guy that uh, really did some damage to us, he strikes out, though. Chaz McCormick is up. He strikes out, so Puke is just throwing the, uh, he's throwing the heat out there now. And Anthony Rizzo. And he will ground out. So, Tania makes the play himself, but we got to have two runs right here or the game is over. And they have Logan Allen on the mound to face our catcher, Henry Davis. And that's going to be the first out. So, we're down to two outs now. 
with nobody on and Asturi Ruiz up. And uh, we're going to be down to just one more out. There's two down and Jose Tang is the batter. And that's going to be it. We couldn't win. We could not get them. We lose 4-2 to Houston. I will let you guys take a look at the uh, statistics, the batting, you know, the box score here. Very, uh, that's very disappointing. I mean, it's a worse team, and they had their worst starter going against us, and we couldn't touch them. Singer pitched uh, fairly well, seven innings, eight hits, four earned runs, and uh, Puke pitched one very good inning. But we were just bested by, I mean, Sears pitched out of his mind. Five innings, six hits, one earned run. And that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.